My arms and legs feel heavy. Is it because I was up so late last night? In any case, I gotta get to the cafeteria. Uh. Oh, kitty kitty, please be okay. Please, please, please be okay. <laughs> That's all I ask for. Please be okay. Oh, no. You're late, Nagy. It's one minute past designated meeting time. I I'm sorry, I'm not feeling too great right now. You think an old, tired excuse like... Y you think an old tired excuse like that is good enough for my white knight? Yeah. Hmm, you allowed to talk? <laughs> I don't recall giving you permission. <laughs> what? I I assume it reset at the end of the day. <laughs> I I'm very sorry, please don't hate me. I'll gladly accept any punishment. How about I scrub the toilets while wearing a sign around my neck that says I'm a very bad girl? Uh, if you quit spouting filth like that, I'll let this one slide. Thank you very much. I won't spout any more filth. I if I say anything unpleasant, feel free to shove garbage into my mouth. It would be my pleasure to serve as my white knight's own personal trash can. <sighs> it's no good. She's rotten to the core, dude. Anyway, where's Kitty Kitty? I haven't seen her today. Dude! This is way past fashionable lateness. I'm not talking B-list B actresses, but supermodel to your fashion. After what happened yesterday, maybe she got mad and isn't going to come. It would be a big mistake if I told him why she isn't here. So right now, I just need to stay quiet. Just where is that woman and what is she doing? She can't even get into her own room. Oh yeah, you still got her key, dude. What's this? You guys searching for Kitty Giddy? Whoa! What do you want this time? I'm right, aren't I? You're looking for Kitty Giddy. Do you know where she is? Maybe, who knows? Hmm? You don't know either? You're here because... Because you don't know, aren't you? And you're trying to probe us for information. Anyways, don't you hate it when you ask someone their favorite manga and they give you some obscure series? Your topic changing strategy is way too obvious. Either way, there's no doubt about it. Monokuma really doesn't know anything. In which case, that means last night's plan worked. In which case... No. There's a possibility the Puppet Master can observe us and control Monokuna at the same time. She was right? <coughs> so, how about it? You're, s you're searching for Kitty Kitty, ain't ya? You guys have any ideas? <laughs> Not the faintest. Even if we did, we wouldn't tell you. Of course we wouldn't, dude. Aww. Hmm, I see. <coughs> oh, whatever, who cares? I don't care about any of this anymore. Bye-bye! After Monokuma left, we all exchanged glances. Mm. Hey, what was that all about? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where Kitty Giddy is either? <laughs> so it would seem. Dabi. That being case, where did Kitty disappear to? Mm. Maybe we should all go look for her. <laughs> and how do you propose we do that if Monokuma can't even find her? Anywho, how, how'd she slip under Monokuma's radar in the first place? Good question. In all likelihood, Kitty Giddy used that key and snuck into some place. But the question is where? Where could she have gone that Monokuma couldn't find her? While eating breakfast, we traded theories about where Kitty Giddy could have gone to no avail. And then we dispersed to our rooms. Are you kidding me? I have free time right now while Kitty Giddy is missing. Phew. Even after eating breakfast, I'm still feeling really sluggish. I'm guessing this is more than just sleep deprivation. I guess I do have free time. Well, okay then. I, uh, my options are a bit limited at the moment. Alright. Um, well, first things first. 
to the gift store. To the gift store. Get a bunch of gifts. Uh, right. Do, 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 boop. Okay. Yes. Let's give it a shot. Alright, what do I get? 29. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna try 10. Okay, looks like a water bottle. Not sure who would like a water bottle, but okay. Oh. Lucky. Interesting. Okay. Mm, yeah, we'll keep it to 10 for now. Some ramen. I feel like Hagakure would probably like that. Maybe. A flower. Oop. Another lucky. Uh, kicked. Oh. oh, okay. I was like, what? Alright. More ramen. Oop. Lucky again. Jesus. Uh, good try 13 this time. Oh, goody, scissors. Okay, a ring. Another cat dog magazine. Oh, and of course the person who would like that is kind of dead. Alrighty, let's check out our spoils. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Presents. Alright, what do we got? Mineral water. Uh, deep ocean water refined to the... T uh, uh, connoisseur of modern day dehydration. Wait, dihydrogen monoxide. Okay. Yeah, these two. Rainbow. Rainbow biscuits. Tin of, bed with, tin of bread with a fabulously long shelf life and an equally fabulous variety. Seven different flavors in every can. Put a bunch of these away for a rainy day and neither your stomach nor your heart will be empty. Rainbow biscuits. Okay. Oh, I don't have any ramen. What is this? Microwavable with a plethora of high quality ingredients targeted for children. Magnificary. A ration. A pre cooked, pre packaged combat ration. Surprisingly, it doesn't taste half bad and is also very. is also apparently a favorite of a certain hide and seek loving reptile. What? Okay. Sunflower seeds, got bird rice? A fair ring. Put it on your right pinky for romance and passion. Put it on your left pinky for pure and innocent love. Wear one on both pinkies and you'll have a catastrophe knocking down your door. Jesus. Phoenix diamond. I don't have any more of those. The God of Ward. Protected amulet emblazoned with the name of the Shinto gods. Of martial arts. <gasps> damn it. Ah, uh, damn it. Don't know who would like roller. <laughs> Loincloth. Trousers. By the Gothic Lolita. Eh, Sakura. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Uh, Radio Kid Doll. <laughs> Shears. 
and coming scissors. What is this? A toy dandelion capable of providing hours of entertainment. The fuzzy stuff is attached to the stem with small strings so you can blow it away and reel it back. Interesting. Okay. Um. Oop, I did it again. Alright, so where are people? Are they all on the fifth... Fifth floor? Oh, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Eh. Okay, let's go there. Eh. I will talk to, uh... Unless she doesn't want to be... There she is. Asahina. When things get hard, just persevere. Persevere, persevere. Those are the words of marathon runner Sam Samuel Wanjiru. But there's a limit to how much persevering I can do. Uh, sure. Yes, hang out. Then how about we do something different? I need a change of pace. Now for a change of pace. That obviously means a swim in the pool. Yeah! Okay. Went swimming with Asahina. As <laughs> and somehow just ran all the way- <laughs> Ran all the way down to the- What floor was it? The third floor or second floor? <laughs> run all the way down to that floor just to run all the way back to the fifth floor. Bonded. Sure. Uh... Would you like some mineral water? Maybe? <laughs> awesome! Thanks, that's pretty awesome! She seemed to have liked it. She have liked it a bit. What's wrong, Asahina? I can't take it anymore. I can't do anything here and I hate it! I want to run a marathon under the bright blue sky! I want to swim under the bright blue sky! I want to play! Chill, Asahina. I'm like a rabbit. If I, if I'll die if I can't keep moving. Yes, it's sad when rabbits die, but I'm going to die if I can't move my body. I'm going to die. What am I supposed to say? Maybe you think I'm joking, but it's true. I can't survive if I can't move. Why else would I have been on six different sports teams? Six at the same time? Jesus. Yep, I did track, basketball, baseball, volleyball, and tennis. And my primary team was... My primary team was... She went quiet right about... It, obviously, it's swimming. The swim team, right? Mm. Yep, that was my main. I don't care about anything else. I just want to swim with the sky spread out above me. Still, that must have been rough, even for you, to be on six different sports teams all at once. I told you I'll die if I don't move my body and also I'm always looking to push myself further to try all sorts of new things to push yourself it's not the winning that really gets me pumped it's being neck and neck with someone fighting for the top and not knowing who's going to take it I get so excited and so nervous it feels like my heart is going to leap right out of my chest but actually succeeding just makes me feel empty you reach the top and that's all that's there not being much of a sports guy, it's hard to really sympathize. But the way she enjoys the competition rather than the victory is probably why she's so amazingly good. Mm. So I want to compete in my primary sport, swimming. Some, somewhere I can really experience that sensation. I want to go for the very, very top. The very, very top? The gold medal, of course. Maybe I'm dumb, but I'm going for the gold. Did she just call herself dumb? In that case, it's even more important that you stop making excuses and really work for that goal, you know? Huh? Excuses? Awesome. Hold on! When did I make a an excuse about anything? There's no changing the fact that at this point in time, we're stuck here. 
But that doesn't mean you can't look for things you can still do. Isn't that what true effort is? <gasps> you, you have a point. You have a very good point there. Mm, yeah, you're totally right. If I want to go for the gold, I gotta push myself even harder. Losing is not coming second. It's getting out of the water knowing you could have done better. That's what the great Ian... Thorpe? Thrope? Thorpe? Says? Uh -uh. And I don't want to be a loser in his eyes, so no more excuses. Yeah, I'll be in my room doing push-ups, like a thousand or so. Soon as the words left her mouth, she took off at an incredible speed. She's just as quick to get back on her feet as she is with everything else, huh? Ah, I earned a skill point. Yay! All the skills. After parting ways with Asahina, I return to my room. Please let there be more free time. Ba 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 ba. Ugh, it feels like I've gotten even worse than I, I I've gotten even worse than I was this morning. It's getting harder to move. And I've got the chills. Oh, sick. Crap, I might have caught a cold. So, should we hang out with people or go with the Okay, which floor was he? Damn it. I'm assuming cold is story, but at the same time, I don't know. Kitchen. Ugh. Go to the kitchen. Talk to- I guess talk to Hagakure. Whoa. Wait. Why is there shutters here? Because isn't that another way to get to... I don't know. Up, I finally learned the truth, dude! This is all the work of a certain organization! But I can't say this organization names if I do! Poof! John Lennon and Kurt, Kurt Cobain were both taken out by these dudes. <laughs> this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad! What should I do? Uh, fine, hang out. Let's heat this conversation up, dude. What do you know about Cosmo... Co what? Sat through, yeah. Yay! Sure. I, he likes food, right? Because that's all I got. Rainbow biscuits. Um. I don't have ramen. Would you like curry? Uh. Rainbow biscuits? Maybe curry? Here, have some. Niggs, you shouldn't have. I gratefully accept your generosity, dude. Thank goodness, it seems. Oh, goodness, he's satisfied with it. Ooh. Yo, Niggs, how's it going, future brother? Oh God, future brother, looking forward to our days raising kids together. E enough with that, please. Oh, you want me to tell your fortune again? No. How do you even do that anyway? Tell fortunes. You didn't even look at my palm or a crystal ball or anything last time. Oh, so you're familiar with the tools of our trade. You know a lot more about fortune telling than I expected, Negs. You don't need to know much to know about crystal balls and stuff. In that case, I'll give you a discount on your next fortune if you can tell me what I'm describing. No thanks, I... There's a type of divination performed using a deck of... Oh, deck of cards. Most common variants use the, twi use the 22 cards. Known as the Major Arcana. Um, but the full deck has another 56 cards known as the Minor Arcana. It's called Persona. <laughs> a type of divi divination that uses a deck of cards divided into major and minor. Let's see, could it be poker? No, it's tarot. 
I heard of that. You're talking about Taro, right? Oh, you got it, dude. As a reward, I'll tell your f tell your fortune for 60 thou. Will you really? Not that I'll take you up on it. I already said I was done. I see. Well, hit me up if you ever have a change of heart. Anyway, back to my previous question. How do you make your predictions without a crystal ball or anything? Now, don't get the wrong idea, dude. I'm perfectly capable of using standard techniques. I even know numerology. Numerology? Ooh. It's a way of determining one's future fortune using calculations performed on things like their name or birthday. But you didn't use that either, did you? Mm, I had a revelation. An image arose in my mind as a result of the machine machi me machinations machinations of some unknown power. Isn't that more like a hunch? No, Don't try to downplay what I do by calling it a hunch! It's not that, then you must have some kind of superpower. I don't do any of that supernatural crap. You want to talk about that? Go do it somewhere else. Supernatural crap? Huh. No, no. Oh yeah, next. I got a great deal for you. Get your fortune told now and I'll give you a special bonus. It's a CD containing recordings and messages from the gods dwelling in the highest kingdom of heaven, dude. It's called a blunt. Compiled by a practitioner of white magic, lis listening will allow you to have spiritual experiences at will. And do you say supernatural stuff is crap? Business and pleasure are two separate beasts. The more I try, the less I can keep up with them. Oh my goodness. Yay, skill point. <sighs> Ugh, I'm shivering like crazy. Now I'm having trouble focusing on anything. Nope, I can't do this. Bedtime. Nighttime is still a ways off, but I'm at my limit. I collapse into my bed. And my consciousness flicked off like an old TV. But it didn't shut completely down. A little static still lingered. I fell into an endless cycle of paralyzed darkness and erratic gray buzzing awareness. Somewhere outside my reach. Oh my goodness. I groaned. Ugh. And then I slipped into a non-essential dream world. Nonsensical dream world. Someone's voice rang out inside my head. I know. No. That voice. I recognize that voice. Yeah, it's... I know. My voice. I know. I know everything. My goal is to not leave this place, but to remain here. Huh? What am I saying? Hope. This is all for the sake of hope. That's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. What? <gasps> what what was that? Weird dream. Huh? Oh shit. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Is that a dream or is that what kitty giddy? What did... What did you say? What are you s saying? Uh... Did we hallucinate? Or was it a thing? Uh, every day is peaceful and every day is full of joy. Perfect tranquility from morning until night. 
The only thing you desire is a repetition of those unchangingly boring, peaceful days. Where nothing out of the ordinary happens, not even the slightest disturbance in the status quo. I think it would be unfathomably abnormal if such a world actually existed. Okay. So wait, were those hallucinations? I re-entered the world much slower than usual. Whew. First I let out a deep breath. The headache, the chills, the fatigue had all disappeared somewhere. All that was left was an uncomfortable layer of sweat. It probably wasn't only the cold that had me drenched like this. Last night's dream. Just what the heck was that? Or was it even a dream in the first place? I racked my brain to dig up the memory. Pulling it, pulling it, pulling at it. Uh, like a stubborn fish getting glimpses, flashy, flashing images. Here it comes, last night. I was feverish drifting in and out of sleep. I heard a strange voice. After that... I opened my eyes. And there was someone standing by my bed wearing a strange mask. Holding a knife. I get the feeling I fought back as hard as I could. But I can't really remember. Because of the fever, it felt like the link between my mind and my body had been severed. I had this weird sensation of absentmindedly, absentmindedly watching my body move itself somewhere off in the distance. I can't even remember what I did. But one thing's for sure. I can't shake the feeling that I struggled like a wild animal trying to break free from a trap. Moments after that, I lost consciousness again, and when I came to... Kitty Giddy was there. But why was Kitty Giddy in my in my room? What a strange dream. But was it actually a dream? There's got to be some way I can figure that out. Uh, how about we check that drawer? I opened the desk drawer. Fuck. <laughs> 